Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft mod pack. We are playing Atom Smashers by Landstrider. Atom Smasher is, of course, a technical mod pack, mainly based on the idea of exploring the solar system. Yes, that's right, you heard me, the solar system. If we come in here and click advanced, you can see that we've got advanced rocketry, so we can build rockets and go explore many different worlds out there. Also, a part of this mod pack, in case so you are wondering we've got tech guns so we can go along and do a whole load of like ridiculous like uh, armor and explosives and weapons and stuff like that I mean like just look at these guided missiles nether blasters hand cannons I mean how much fun is that there is also the Dalek mod and very many different types of mods in this mobs sorry in this mod pack so I think we're ready to go and get stuck into it the first thing we need to do is try and escape this place I'm not sure if you guys are aware hopefully Hopefully with the power of the replay mod you can see that there are bad guys out there ones that I'm pretty worried about running past but that should be okay that should not be a big problem the first thing that I need to do is come along here and click my I call it an apostrophe some call, some call it a grav key it could be the at key I don't know it's one of these weird keys that swaps around depending on keyboard binding so who knows what it is but we've got some quests yes indeed we have some quests first steps do you know Ah, it's so good. The first thing to note is these quests are more of a guideline than the be-all and end-all of this pack. This is just showing you what the progression could actually be, which way you want to go with it, uh, and things like that. Your new life begins as you are dropped on the planet's surface. This is going to be a tough assignment. Your health augment... Uh, sorry, take this health augment to help you get started. Your implanted technology will return you to life if you die. However, each time you, re you revive, your total health will be decreased by half a heart. That's in, in, isn't that supposed to be implant? Uh, anyway, so we, we give it a tick and we go claim. We get ourselves a heart container. I will show you what this means. You can see down above uh, above my hotbar, just kind of where I'm moving things back and forth. In fact, if I press T, I can even use my mouse to show that I only have here five hearts. Not exactly the best situation to be in, but if we go om nom nom, that is now six hearts. Woo! Oh yeah. Okay, so let's open this up. I reckon we can do another couple of really easy quests here. You can see at the top here, 10 oak wood. That should be nice and easy. What else do we have here? Kill some zombies. Is it just the kill 10 zombies? All right, that's that's nice and easy. And over here we have kill three sheep. That should also be fairly easy. But let's go out and get out 10 wood. 10 wood is the way forward. I believe it was... Nothing to worry about. Oh, I might take these bones and rotten flesh just in case. The one probe this mod shows you tool tips, but whatever. I'm just going to put it up in my... Bar there. Hello, hello. Are you like right in here? Hi, what are you? You're a husk. Oh man, get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. I don't want anything to do with you. I think I'm going to leave. Oh man, if we kind of like get him over this side and then run around this way out there. Oh, there are skeletons. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> We're going to try and get on top of some of these trees, ideally getting away from all those bad guys first. All right, brilliant. We are free and fine to do whatever it is we want to do. Notice a uh, rubber tree there. That That's cool. I'm not going to take all the rubber trees because this is spawn. This, uh, this is a public server. If you guys were not aware, if you want to come and join in, just install the mod pack. That's all you need to do. You then go to the multiplayer section and this server will be awaiting for you so I think we've got ourselves in a good position here look at that single little egg to go with cool I'm gonna just break that there uh, we got a vine should be able to use the vine to climb up here did, did I actually spawn in a, a chick oh awesome that that's cool that's cool I I am the biological master it has to be said uh, where are we gonna go to like rip these trees apart I, d I don't want to like destroy my easy way look how many rubber trees there are around here this is just absolutely Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. We'll, we'll uh, do something with that. Do I care? I do. I do. I'm going I'm to do this this way. We're going to get three logs. We are going to basically UHC our way to our first few quests here. Did that just destroy everything around me anyway? That's uh, not quite what I was after, but I will deal with it. That's cool. Okay, we've got ourselves some stick and we've got ourselves a craft bench. Ow, that was a little bit of a damage there, but nothing to worry about. Okay, let's get ourselves an axe. Um, yeah, let's get ourselves an axe. Uh, I was thinking about the next quest there, but we're, we're not even there. We're not even there yet. So let's just go around and get all the things we want. Uh, indeed, we finished off all the wood. Uh, there should actually... Oh, hey, all those mushrooms uh, blew off. There should actually be a vein miner setting here. Yeah, there. Okay, cool. So if I run up to a tree, press myself a crouch and start taking out the bottom log... 
bam, all those logs get dropped down there. And initial drop is done. Awesome. Vey Miner, one of the best additions to this uh, this pack, if you ask me. All right, let's open this up. I'm not in the right place. Let's go here. All right, heart container. Is that all we get? No, we did that one already. This one up here. Uh, we get our wood back. Does it consume? No, we get double wood. Okay, heart container and apple. Sounds good to me. I will take those Thank you very much. Okay, this side here, we want a wooden sword, a shovel, and an axe. This should be nice and easy to set up here. I'm uh, quite au fait with making these tools just to set off with. Let's get ourselves a bunch of those. How many sticks will we need? I don't know, quite a few, quite a few. So if we go across like that, for the pickaxe first. We've got the axe, so let's get the shovel, and then I believe actually the other one we need now is a stick, a beating stick, one might say. So that is uh, getting prepared. I heard something noisy there. Do I have to be aware? I cannot see anything lying around, and I'll just do a quick inventory swap out. Okay, cool. Looking good so far, looking good so far. I'm not particularly um, aware of where I'm going to be going. Okay, so I get to pick one of these. Do I just go straight for the stone, stone sword or the stone pickaxe? Which one's going to be more useful? I'll go with a stone sword for now. I think uh, it will be handy at some point. Let's do a little bit of a rearrange and maybe even eat these heart containers. Bam, look how many I am up to now. Feeling good, feeling strong, feeling awesome. Right, what have we got over here? Uh, zombie Knight Liner, that's all right. Not worried about this one. These are the first quests, uh, first uh, uh, automation quests I'm going to go for. But I think the next thing we need to do is find ourselves an iron pick. This means we are going under. Oh, oh, no, it doesn't. It means I'm going to make a hoe first, and then we're going to go underground. Okay, let's let's get that hoe up and running first, so that we can figure out what we're going to do for food. As you may have noticed, we are starting to run a little short. So that should just be as simple as that. Hopefully, is that done? Okay, cool. Do I get food from this? Do I? Yeah, I get steak, heart container. Uh, do I have to choose something somewhere? I do have to choose something. I'm going to choose the string. Um, that's because I want to make a yo-yo. I, honestly, that, that that's my thinking there. Uh, magic beans, you know, they're good, but we can get beans from bean stalks, which are around somewhere. There we go. These, these ones over here, they will give me beans if need be. Um, leather and wool, uh, these are all things that we can get from animals, right? But the uh, string, we would have to fight actual actual spiders for that. Okay, one one chicken down. That's nice. That's nice. So uh, let's let's go on a bit of a wander, shall we? Let's let's wander off. Let's try and find ourselves somewhere nice to settle down, put down a very temporary base, and do some caving. Okay, there's a building over here. I'm immediately suspicious because none of the glass has been broken out. So let's try and go around and see what we can find here. Open the door up. So normally there's a, a small patch in the floor here. Yeah, the door's open. Uh, a small black patch on the floor that's called a, 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 a monster hole or something like that. Oh, this is all very nice. It looks like it might be someone's actual stuff, though. Uh, it's called a monster hole. It will keep spitting out monsters and mobs and bad guys until so many kill so many are killed in its vicinity uh which i think is quite a nice quite a nice thing but unfortunately not not for us today Okay, we're getting to the point where sun is starting to set. I did just literally hear a bat, which possibly means there is a decent cave system around here, but I'm definitely going to set up a small... In fact, I'm not even going to set up a small base. I'm just going to go underground the first moment that I find a place to do so. This is a beautiful biome, though. Maybe maybe this is where I want to live. I've got an idea of almost an Isengard... Uh, place where I've got a big central spire and a whole bunch of stuff around. I mean, that this is lovely though. Look at this. We've got wolves and squid and water. Can we get round to somewhere where the cave actually goes in though? Is there actually a cave going in? We might have to just abandon the surface very shortly though. This nighttime is getting 
more than a little bit close. What is that? Hello? No, you're a, you're a blue statue. That's okay. Oh, that that was nearly deadly. What is this? What does it do? Uh, lapis Val. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. What have I got? I've got a wooden pick. Um, is it gonna is it gonna be good enough? I got some stuff. Oh oh, I got I got lots of stuff. What do we get here? I got a villager corpse. Oh. Ooh. Uh, I've got some glowstones, the villager statue, some books, a golden carrot. Gonna be eating that. Okay, everything else is looking pretty good. I also would kind of like to eat this if at all possible. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Light, uh, lava over there. Maybe, maybe this is the spot where we're gonna go down. I don't see anything spawning in yet. You can see up on my map. Let's zoom out a little bit there. That there are no red dots. So I'm, I'm not feeling particularly pro uh, problematic in my approach here. Um, did anybody else see those lasers just go shooting across? Did I? Did I actually see lasers go shooting across? It could have just been a glitch. Could have just been my, my eyes messing up on me. Um, okay, I think I think this is gonna do. I think this is gonna do. Oh look, here we go. Is, is this is this the part? Uh, what? No, no, no. Okay. Well, this is now the point where we're gonna go down. Let's uh, let's get ourselves some stuff. I think the first thing we need to do is go and plant these eight seeds. That that might be worth it. Let's uh, just break some more ground around here. Because obviously we're going to need to one two one two one two one two. That's uh, sets of four. I think I'd kind of like to actually knock out a bit of dirt here. But my my OCD is tweaking. My OCD. Ah! Oh, did you did you see this guy? Look at look at him. Look at him. Die. If you could, please. You're just kind of causing me trouble. So the problem there was the fact that I dug this without a shovel. I do have a shovel, so we should be able to fix this, right, like that. That's cool. Get rid of my monster meat. Single bit of dirt. Uh, this is the problem right here. Look at look at that. Right, you disappear. Huh, huh, huh. Is this is this not how we get rid of stuff now? Okay, cool. That's that's good. I'd like this bit of grass to grow across. Is there any way of making a torch? There's not. Are you guys being able to see? Yeah, I turned my uh, turned my darkness all the way up, my brightness all the way up. So that should be pretty good. Um, so every single player world I've played of this, and I have played a few now, I have normally been absolutely assaulted by the bad guys at this point. Uh, appears to be that there are not any. Now there were some at spawn, so that was feeling pretty deadly, but right now, yeah, it's a big wide open patch of nothing. I wonder what's going on with that. Landstrider, I'm fairly not sure you're watching, buddy. What's going on with this? Okay, got myself my CD place advancement. I would like to put down some more, if at all possible. Maybe even dig these ones out. Let's do it like that. I'm just going to make this weird sort of tiered system on the go there. I think that should work out pretty well for us. Uh, and we're one bit short, but that's okay because we've got this weird little one bit of farm over there okay that that's good that's good let's uh let's go start digging down somewhere do we want to dig down here ah a thing that i also meant to mention that i have not if you have a look down this corner here difficulty uh three that's uh that's all to do with how far away from spawn i am hey advancement to the stone age nice it's all to do with how far away from spawn i am and how long i have hung out in the area it's kind of like the local difficulty scale if you press f3 where where, where is it kept nowadays there is there we go local difficulty three in fact yeah those two are 100 matched so that that's an interesting thing day 1812 wow that's pretty good first iron ore relatively quickly let's get rid of some stuff here let's uh i got some charcoal i mean we're gonna make these into torches it was just kind of a, a first start there no a biggie i also appear to have like some some daisies and some mushrooms on me do you reckon we can put the mushrooms down somewhere if i just kind of dig that way a distance we should find ourselves in a situation dark enough to put down the mushroom yep brilliant okay that's a good start i'd also like to get rid of this oxide daisy but i think first i need to run up and use my uh, bench i should probably bring another crafting bench down but i've got this little little setup area up here so i'm feeling pretty good about it let's do a stick and some uh cobble there that should be cool uh i could of course empty my inventory out now that would definitely be a plan but first off i want to do this we're going to do a little bit of a vein mine bam oh that's that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. We did get four bits of iron though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's let's go cook them off because those are going to be part of my next quest. Another thing I want to do is to replace 
All this with, with stairs, so I don't have to jump up and down and waste my food all the time. Speaking of food, should we go and have a look? Let's put this in to cook. Yeah, I'm going to just use a bit of coal. It doesn't bother me. Maybe saplings would have been a better idea, but that, that'll be fine. Let's come over here. How are things doing? Are we, are we growing? I'm just going to pop down some torches, help the light level for when it is needed. Sweet and good stuff there. Uh, I wanted to plant this over here if possible. What else do we have? You know what? I'm going to make a chest. I'm going to empty all my stuff out. In this pack, there are much better things to put your stuff into than a terrible, terrible double chest, but it will do me. Okay, so what about you? Are you done? That is done there. Cool. Uh, now, I think for the achievement, of course, what I need to do, let's come back and look here. We need an iron pick. That, that's, I'm, more than, I'm more than happy to make myself an iron pick here. That should help us get down to the lower levels a lot easier. That leaves, leaves us a single bit of iron left over, and I'm uh, not sure what to do with that but we will find a use yes indeed now can i can i break this silver with this i don't think i can i think it's actually yes yeah okay awesome that that's pretty good so we can figure out a way of going through there um up here i need to pick one of these now i could get a heart container i could get a loot chest or i could get an iron bone pick honestly i'm not interested in any of these things the iron bone pick i could make the diamond we could make oh well, i'm not sure if i can make the iron bone pick but i was having a look yeah have a look there 1.2 attack damage attack speed four attack damage it's the same as the normal pick i don't know if it does any better um pickaxe damage but i'm not i'm not bothered i'm gonna i'm gonna take the the gamble on the loot crate because why wouldn't i do you, do you not think that a loot crate is worthy of my time uh let's open this up loot crate do i right click how, how do i how do i use it let's try and remember i've done this before so i put it in my hand and right click all right there we go oh. I mean, I, that's all right, I suppose. A linear actuator, that's a piston to you and me. Uh, pumpkin seeds, rotten flesh, name tags, melon seeds, loads of gunpowder, some tin, a, bu a boucher, all very good. What is a biome crystal? Okay, so we got some stuff in there to be a little bit proud of, but, but not majorly, not majorly. Okay, I was not expecting a cave this soon. Let's uh, let's make this place safe, shall we? Let's come over here, put a small little uh, sissy bar across here. In fact, I'm going to go for an entire sissy wall. I like that, and this can just be lit up. Okay, that that's that's cool. That's going to keep me safe in this. <laughs> doorway all right cool maybe not i was gonna say this is gonna keep me safe in this area but let's just quickly together run through and see how extensive this cave system is not massively we've got a few things that i want to try and grab here we have of course got some coal that's pretty tasty pretty tasty over here i want some more iron give that to me if you please oh 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 i did, I did a I did a vein mine on the stone i've been trying to avoid doing that because as you can see from my pick it absolutely destroyed destroys it but uh that's that's also kind of tasty what was this over here no that was rupolite or all right that's that's pretty cool now if i was playing vanilla minecraft i would be going around absolutely making sure that there is nothing left behind me but as you can see there are more than a couple of things to worry about inside modded minecraft so i'm not sure that i want to grab everything that i see ever uh am i going to need more torches soon i am a little bit more copper there when i first spotted these i was like oh look uranium awesome but no 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 it's it's copper it's copper so that was that yeah that that's that cave system all uh, emptied out there all right awesome guys awesome i'm gonna carry on digging until i've hit the bottom And with that, I'm afraid I am running 
out of time for today's episode. You can see we have built this magnificent staircase down to the bottom. Uh, it took up a great deal of my time here, but that's fine because it has given us access to all the different levels. I thought I'd seen something like this over here whilst I was uh, mining. I actually need an iron pickaxe. That's fine. We'll go and deal with that at some point. Uh, we have barely scratched the surface on the quest today. We managed to get a few of these starting going ones here, but we've still got a few more to get going that look like they're going to be nice and easy to do next time. Uh, we will try and find ourselves a place to live, try and find ourselves somewhere to take advantage of this area. I've been taking a little bit of a look around up here and we might might just be staying to live here. I, I feel like it's a very nice area. Uh, there's a lot to say about it. Still no bad guys out here, but also something that I uh, had noticed on the replay whilst I was doing a lot of the editing for today. I went down there because I couldn't find any cave. Oh, look, there's a cave right here. Gotta learn to look around. But yes, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to get through all of the quests. Let me just put down a torch here so we can see what's going on. We're going to get through some of the quests. We're going to try and find a a place to live and we are going to upgrade all of our technologies and try and get a whole host of automation on the go but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye